Ali Abdali is a famous YouTuber who has over 5 million subscribers. His shorts generate millions of views every day and in this video I'll show you all the secret elements that he uses in order to achieve that. Compared to long videos, shorts require constant engagement with the viewers. So in order to achieve this, he uses a popular technique called motion graphics. This includes a custom moving effect which can be applied on any still object as well as this paper transition. In order to emphasize important parts, he uses this custom text animation. In the end, it will create a background effect that can be used in all types of short videos. For reference, we're going to use this video. All photos and transitions that I'll be using can be found on Envato. The link is in the description. Inside Adobe Premiere Pro, you're going to create a black video with a ratio of 9 by 16. Then you can link it to your After Effects composition where you're going to set the frames per second. Industry standard for motion graphics is 24 and I do not recommend going over that if you want to create engaging shorts. Ali Abdal uses between 10 and 15 frames per second. Instead of Photoshop, we're going to prepare photos. Here you can remove the background in order to make your images transparent. Then, by applying the paper cutout effect and creating a clip mask, you're ready for the next step. Export your images as PNG and import them in After Effects. First, we're going to create a wiggle effect. Place a photo on your timeline and then go to transformation effects. Here, you're going to hold the Alt and click on the stopwatch icon next to the position. This will open an expression feature where you can type any code. Here, you're going to type wiggle, where the X value will be four and the Y value will be 20. This can vary based on your canvas. So for example, if your canvas is 1800 pixels, by 3200 pixels, you'll use these values. You can apply this effect on any object you want. For example, on the scribble effect. Next, we have this paper transition. We have previously downloaded paper transition from Evato, and now we're going to use it on this post stamp. Make sure that the image is above your transition video, so when you pre-compose them in one composition, you can apply transparency. You can do it by clicking on this checkbox. Finally, you can play with the blending mode of your composition, in order to achieve the best look. When it comes to postcard transition that he created in this video, you can play with position, rotation and opacity keyframes. You can also add a Gaussian blur to one of your postcards to mimic the focus effect. Next, you'll create a custom title animation that he uses in his videos. Select a pan tool and draw a straight line. Do not make it too long. Then go to stroke where you can adjust the color and the size. Select a type tool and create a type box. Here you're going to type no more than one word. Then pre-compose these two layers and create a mask. By creating multiple mask path keyframes, you can adjust the current position of the mask. The end keyframe will fully reveal your text. Now you can use this effect as many times as you want by just changing the word. Finally, I'm going to show you how to create a custom background texture effect. So first go to Envato and type grunge texture and then import it in After Effects. Then make sure that you place it between your background and the rest of your layers. Then you can adjust the blend mode or just simply lower opacity. Then open the expression for your position and again use wiggle. This time however, it is up to you to determine the desired value. Make sure to write in the comments what was your favorite wiggle value. Till the next time, bye.